myself uh, md wakil hasan pps college department of polia and today is my uh, synopsis presentation the topic to cover today are uh, what is synopsis the introduction of my topic my topic the need of a study review of literature objective of the study materials and method study design sample size duration of my study references and conclusion uh, firstly just uh, uh, let's discuss uh, what is synopsis synopsis it is also called as a research proposal synopsis is a brief presentation of the entire research on the approval of the rdc rdc is the research degree committee and the ethical committee so before doing the research we present a proposal before the committee which approves or disapproves what you are going to do in your research that proposal must be clear precise so that it brings some outcome and the title of my study is uh, incidence of nigras gout in the individual of the safravi and balgami temperament and we have to maintain the name of uh, mention the name of the candidate in the front page of our synopsis and it's my uh, name of the candidate and you are here pg scholar you have to write your badge and the address of your college the name of my guide is dr matanath karim sir the hod uh, head of the department of uh, kulia and my co guide is uh, Dr. Ali Najibur Rahman Sir, Assistant Professor, Department of Malaya, DPCS. And this is the uh, introduction of my uh, synopsis. In introduction, firstly, uh, it is uh, mentioned here the title of my research, that is the incidence of the nigras in individual of Safavi and Balgami temperament. Let's discuss about the topic. the title or the topic of your research it must be catchy precise and should remain the same till the thesis completion most of you are stuck in your research topic i will suggest you first to know the earlier work in the respective department find out the list of the research topic from all the unani pg institutions for the pgs of the kulia you can do your work in the various topic like the assessment of the mizaj of the drugs the assessment of mizaj of some diseases assessment of the mizaj of the individuals you can do your work in akhlaq in goa in hujum e arba how the lifestyle is affecting our poor and we are surrounded by the lifestyle diseases so we can we can do work on goa also we can do the literary work in uh, department of kulia in my uh, research work here nicras is known as a gout it is also called it is called as a nicras due to the fact that the two joint is also known as the ankurus the pain in the two joint with inflammation is the most common symptom it is widespread in the india especially in the rich and the sedentary lifestyle people in general gout incidence is a 2 to 6 fold higher in the men than in women the incidence of the gout generally increase increases with the age reaching a plateau after the age of the 70 years the prevalence of the gout reported by the national bjd the bone and the joint decade it is uh, the su survey was done in 2006 and 2011 and the prevalence rate was 0.05% According to Hippocrates, the imbalance in the akhla causes, causes disease, and nigras is caused by the khan balga. Here are the four types of the akhla that are found in the human body: that is the filter gum, filter balga, filter safra, and filter soda. So the individuals can be classified into four different temperaments. So the present study is designed to evaluate whether the safravi, that is the har har individual, or the balgami, that is the cold individual, are more prone to nigras. 
assessment of the mizaj should be done at the very outset so that the patient as well as the disease can be managed in the right direction either in the future studies or its treatment we can easily suggest or advise him or her for the prevention for this disease prior to appearance of necrosis as we know the principle of the treatment in the unani medicine is glabrizib so by knowing the temperament of the necrosis or its appearance in the in individual or the particular temperament we can select the opposite intervention like ghaza dawa or tabib for its treatment and this is the uh, review of literature uh during the uh, making of your synopsis first first of all we select our uh, topic or the title of our research then we go through the books and and we choose the material from the different classical textbook of uh, unani textbook and in my review of literature such as here yes, i have taken the uh, from uh, the book the pathic kulia the doubt is known as a necrosis due to the fact that the two joint is also known as the ankylosis in balance of the akhla is often the root cause of any disease when the normal proportion and the specific equilibrium of the akhla is altered the temperament of the internal environment is disbalanced and thus the disease is developed commonly necrosis occurs due to the due to domination of the khilte balgam which mixes with khilte sabra and khilte dam it is caused by the accumulation of the morbid matter in the joint that is called the fuzlai hazme uzvi necrosis affects those people who have excess of the akhla and they are not excreted from the body due to this they accumulate in the joint and cause pain if the matra of the necrosis is loses a balgami and there is the inflammation with the pain then it will be subside in a long period but if matra is latif it subsides subsides shortly Gout. Gout is an inflammatory disease related to the hyperuricemia and the accumulation of the intra-articular sodium uric crystal. The uric acid is formed in our body due to the breakdown of the organic compound that is the purines. Gout is manifested by the increased serum uric acid concentration that is the hyperuricemia, the position of the monosodium urate monohydrate in the leukocyte of the salivary fluid, the position of the monosodium urate and the monohydrate in in and around the joints the uric acid nephrolithiasis it is also it also gives a family history due to the inheritance of the hyperuricemia it occurs its occurrence is seen gender wise the hippocrates mentioned that the gout is commonly in men but it may be seen in the women after menopause in nicrus pain usually occur in the right to or the both to Uh, or both do and sometimes it is associated with the tachycardia severe headache vertigo anxiety insomnia and stiffness with the sensation of the fingers and now it is the objective of the study objective of the study it is mentioned in your synopsis that one what you are going to do in your further research work in my work this i will uh, the objective is to assess the temperament of the diagnosed patient of the necrosis in government tb college and hospital and after then to collect the serum uric acid test report of the person of the sabravi and balgami temperament so that uh, i can diagnose the uh, the disease that the, the, this patient is diagnosed by necrosis and further it is the material and method in material and method first of all we will discuss about the source of data in my research work uh, the source of data the patient attending uh, i will take the patient attending at the government tb college and hospital in opd 21 that is uh, the opd of lalbi tadbir opd 25 the uh, opd of tarpozi was samajik and opd 29 the opd of opd of malaja my literary material will be collected from the classical textbook manuscript their translation different types of the available published and the unpublished form that is the journals and the periodicals and dissertation etc and i will i can collect uh, 
to the uh, uh, material from the classical textbook which are not available in our college library just we can go to the further and the higher institutions out of patna the method of the collection of data how will i collect my data such uh, how will i collect the temperament of the diagnosed patient of necrosis for that just uh, i will take a clinically diagnosed patient of the necrosis in opdis and i will estimate the serum uric acid laboratory test test report of the diagnosed cases of the individual of the safravi and bergami temperament and data will be collected by questionnaire for the assessment of the mizaj by using the ajnase ashram the questionnaire for the assessment of the mizaj by using the ajnase ashram Ibn Sina provided the most acceptable and the relevant determinants in his the famous book Al Kanun Fitib. These determinants are the ten in the numbers, which are most relevant in assessment of the temperament universally. They are referred to as Ajnase Ashra. Here are the ten points of Ajnase Ashra. That is the Malmas, Lahmoshaham, Shar, Dhani Badan, Haliyate Aza, Kafiyate Infal, Nom Vatsa. अफाल आजाफुजाफेशन i will take the height and the weight of the patient to calculate the bmi and uh, i will uh, get to, uh, either he is veg or non veg and after then this is uh, the tabulated questionnaire form by which uh, i will assess the temperament of the temperament of the diagnosed case of necrosis patient in this uh, in this question i have uh, first of all i will check the malmas status of touch either the touch is the warm or warm or soft it is called cold or soft warm or dry or cold or dry and then uh, laham and shaham that is his build either the patient is a muscular or broad he is fatty or broad muscular or thin or he is lean after that i will measure his his mid arm circumference mid arm circumference will be measured by a uh, inch tape and then i will measure his skin fold thickness to evaluate the amount of the fat in his body the third point is that the shaft and in shaft that is the hair bar and in, in this uh, i will see the structure the color or the growth and the distribution of the hair in the structure either it is a thick or a straight thin or a straight thick or curly or thin or curly and i will see the color either it is blackish brownish black or brown or white and the growth of the hair i will ask the patient either the growth is the rapid rapid and average slow and scanty rapid and profuse or it is excessive the fourth point is the lone badan is i will see the color of the patient either the lone badan is reddish white is that is the pale yellowish or the blackish hayate azab in hayate azab i will see the physics either the physics of the patient is the muscular it is fatty either he is slim or lean and thin i will see the blood vessels blood vessels in his body either it is the mild prominent not prominent more prominent narrow prominent if it is the mild prominent that means he has the only some amount of the fat in his beneath uh, his skin not prominent that that means he must be very fatty and it is if uh, the blood vessels are more prominent that means he has no fat beneath his skin uh, the sixth point is the kafiyate infal in kafiyate infal uh, i will see is the patient is tolerated is he or she tolerate for the dryness or heat cold or dampness i will ask the patient which weather is most suitable for you 
hibernating in spring, summer, winter, or autumn. The seventh point is the afale aza. Afale aza that means how his aza the organs are working, especially this, uh, according to the Timasina, he has uh, mentioned uh, about the uh, about the appetite, that digestion, and the physical activity. I will ask the patient. कि क्या आपको भूख लगता है कितना लगता है ज्यादा लगता है कि कम लगता है ना इज द हेपेटाइटिस नॉर्मल लेस इंक्रीज और सीडो एंड देन आई विल आस्क अबाउट द डाइजेशन आइदर इट इज एवरेज पुअर स्ट्रांग और इररेगुलर आई विल आस्क द पेशेंट व्हाट हैपेंस इफ यू टेक हेवी मील एंड आई विल आस्क द पेशेंट अबाउट हिज द फिजिकल एक्टिविटी इज इट एवरेज लेजी एंड डल हाइपर एक्टिव और डिक्रीज The eighth point is the fuzlate bahan, fuzlate badan. That is the stool. The stool, uh, the uh, type of stool, either it is a semi-solid, constipated, loose, or solid. And the color of the stool, either it is brownish, whitish, yellowish, or blackish. The ninth is the norm bayagza. I will ask the patient about his sleep. Either he, his sleep is the average, excessive. Or less, or less and disrupted. I will ask the patient how much you sleep in 24 hours. It may be five hours per day, four hours per day, eight hours per day. And the tenth is the infarati nafsani. In infarati nafsani, I will ask the patient about his about his memory. Either his his memory is a good long term retention, good can retain for the long time, not good. That is the short term. Not good for the excellent attention. I will ask about his the, about his emotions. Either his emotions are the normal. He is calm and quiet. He is very angered or he is nervous in some situation. Then I will ask about his about his dreams. What he sees in his dreams. Uh, and next day in my. Uh, material and method the material i will use that is the slim glide caliper for the skin fold thickness the tailor tape for the mid arm circumference weigh machine and stereometer next it is uh, the estimation of the serum uric acid level by the laboratory test report for the of the diagnosed cases of the individual of the safravi and the kaljani temple in material material and method just uh, we have to uh, give mention other we have to mention the inclusion criteria of my work and the exclusion criteria of my work the inclusion criteria of my work are the patient willing to fill the consent and to be the part of the experiment and the both sexes are will be taken that is the male and the female the diagnosed patients of the necrosis will be taken that are the that are in my inclusion criteria Um, the age group that is a 30 to 60 patient will be taken either religion either religion patient will be taken and in, in exclusive criteria the patient who are not giving the consent will not be taken in my work in my research work the patient with a serious dysfunction of the renal cardiac liver and the pulmonary pulmonary disease they will not be taken And the pregnant and lactating women will not be taken. This is the consent form which will be uh, filled by the patient. Prior, prior, I will give them the questionnaire of temperament. Study design. Basically, my study is an observational study, and. Uh, not only observational study but it is uh, an an analytical study sample size 200 diagnosed cases of the necrosis will be taken duration of the protocol i have to complete my work in 12 months the place of study my place of study will be the government tb college and hospital patna and does my study require any the investigation now has uh, an has the ethical clearance been obtained from your institution that mean either my study need any ethical clearance yes my study need ethical clearance 
and these are the list of references which we have to put in the uh, second last page of our synopsis of our literature review and this is the most important page which which is attached in the last of your synopsis in which there will be uh, the column of the signature of the candidate the remark of the guide name and the designation of the guide in the signature of the guide name on the and designation and uh, co guide uh, such as uh, my co guide is Do dr randi rajiv rahman sir assistant professor department of malaya sitting here just in front of me and the signature of the co guide the head of the department the signature of the hod remarks of the principal and the signature of the principal and this is very important last page and uh, it may create a lot of confusion uh, thank you thanks a lot this is the barcode of my instagram just to, to follow me just click on scan for further queries assalam next participant